Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. But today we're not in California. Right now we are standing in the courtyard of our Airbnb out here in Tulum. Luke and I made our way over Thursday night, crossed actually from CBX, which is the cross-border I don't know, X Express maybe, which is in San Diego. So we basically just like parked at San Diego and then crossed the border into Tijuana Airport and walked from there into Tijuana. The flights are just a lot cheaper this way and we made our way over here. So I don't know if you can hear, but there's so many sounds. It's super breezy, super warm, super humid. Like this is my type of weather. We are actually here for wedding planning stuff. So we are planning our wedding super super small gonna be set in Tulum but I wanted to make sure that I would be able to you know I'm gonna close this door so that the bugs don't come in chill in this chair oh this chair is so cool I just wanted to come out here so that we could try the food out um, and meet our wedding planner and see the venue and look at the floral decorations and everything has just been so nice so far so our wedding planner picked us up they brought us to a vegan restaurant in Cancun for brunch Okay, let's go go. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Sit anywhere. And I just had like the most fluffy, gluten-free pancakes ever. And then we went over to their office to look at some floral arrangements. And then we went over to the venue to take a look at it. And like, ah, oh, it's all coming together. But after a long day of driving around and coming to Tulum, seeing the venue, Luke and I finally made it to our Airbnb and it is super cute. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of the place. We walk in and right to our left is this cute little pool area. We have two seats. We have this cute little hammock that I have not yet sat in or even touched. And we come in, open the door. We have Luke already lounging in here. And we take our shoes off because it's an Asian household. <laughs> Little kitchenette area, snacks that we most likely will not eat, but that's okay. Kitchen. I feel like for the most part, I really love seeing Airbnbs. So this is why I'm showing you because it's super cute to see other people's homes and like the way that they decorate. And we have made it to the main room, very cute, very lax, and it has been a long, hot day for us. So what's next on the menu is that we're going to get some water. Water. We're gonna get some water, and Snacks. then we're just gonna chill. There's a vegan taco place on the corner of wherever we were. Um, yes. Burritos, maybe? You want a burrito? I want <laughs> Once at all. And of course at some point we're gonna take a shower because we're really gross. I can't believe you're just like laying on that in your airport clothes. I yeah. feel like airport clothes are, are so airport gross. Clothes. I changed out of those. These are my sweaty, checked out the wedding venue clothes. Okay. Justified. I am in my airport clothes, so <laughs> I need to take a shower. What did you think of the venue? Dude, I didn't even know it, but it's my dream mountain child fucking wedding venue really yeah because all my that. friends all my friends back in the philippines made fun of me as being a mountain child because i'm high key gross and i just do what i want but like it's full-on greenery and it looks very natural very, uh, very us very us down to earth right like you thought we were gonna have a beach wedding All right, so the lashes are off because we're in vacation mode. Now we're gonna go shopping, like getting our water and stuff because it started raining earlier, so that's fun. Got back from the store, got some Nature's Heart Almond Creamer for coffee. 
And we also got some electrolyte. 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 And I was so excited because we found Mame Sapote and like. So I was really sorely disappointed to see that there were maggots in these Mame Sapote. So we're just gonna skip over this whole part to save my heartbreak and disappointment. And then we also got some of these bad boys. We found these vegan and protein cookies and basically we just got it because we needed some snacks just in case like our meals in between didn't sustain us. And then we got some rice cakes. Luke is on this rice cake kick. So I'm just letting him do him. Coffee filters for coffee. And we've been experiencing still this continued congestion from some head cold that we've had like a week ago, about a week ago. I'm good, but Luke is having some sinus congestion, so we got some sinus medication. And he got some really, really dry, <laughs> really dry. This actually smells stale, but these uh, corn chips. Try them. They're not stale. 6-4-2022? June 4? Yeah. It's, it's best before, but not bad after. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's still in the good range. Okay. Whatever, I paid for them. Fuck it. Yeah, he right. He right. He paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, we're just gonna... I don't know. What Chill. are we gonna do? Snack. Coffee. Coffee. Because... Drink lots of water. Actually, we need to actually drink more water than we've had today. So maybe catching up on water would be great. Right now, we're looking for a place to eat. I wanted to actually share this app that I use, and this is not sponsored, but I feel like it should be. <laughs> it's called A Billion, so I'm gonna switch my screen so I can show you. So this is called A Billion, and it's basically like Yelp and Happy Cow put into one, and I recently started using it, but it's like kind of social, but mostly I like to use it to find vegan restaurants near me. And so there are a bunch here that we can choose from. And I'm already looking at the one that's already the closest. But because it's a fully vegan app, they also emphasize vegan. So like if you put a review in for a meal, it has to be vegan. And they like really specify that so that other people going on can just know like, hey, everything here is vegan. And so these are all photos from other people using the app so nice to see all these new reviews I mean, people are really using it so i'm on a billion you can find me it's just amanda v sevilla and i'm really bad at posting there but when i do i post like 10 food reviews at a time and luke doesn't post any but he's usually always there for my food adventures what are you watching but despite the name this also affects cats as well so keep this in mind when you are looking to adopt a <laughs> animal and make sure you give black colored pets Hello. So we actually ended up going to this place called. Oh man, I forgot what it was called. called something vegan. Something vegan. Plot twist. Okay, yeah. El Bajon vegan tacos. So everything there is vegan, and we just like got food to go. So now we're eating it so that we can just like straight up go outside and enjoy the pool that we have. Yeah. Salud. Salud. Mm. So fire. But it was this cute vegan place. We got to walk around downtown Tulum. I assume that was downtown, but Bro, maybe it wasn't. I'm not, I'm uh, I'm not a seasoned Tulumer. No. No. Low key? We're not even in Tulum. We're just posing. <laughs> you won't even know where we are. <laughs> we got to walk around. The views were nice. The air feels so good in my lungs. Good time? It's banging. Banging. Okay. Well, we're gonna finish eating, hanging out for the rest of the night, and just enjoying these tacos.